Namaste everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Now I had a can of mixed fruits or cocktail fruit lying around in my fridge for weeks. And finally I thought why not create a delicious and unique twist on the classic upside down cake. So this mixed fruit upside down cake is the perfect way to use that forgotten can of fruit. It's a fantastic recipe for beginner bakers and seasoned pros alike. Plus it's a guaranteed to be a hit at any potluck or gathering. So let's get baking. Before we get started, drain your canned fruit well to prevent a soggy cake. Draining is essential because the excess liquid from the fruit can make a soggy cake. Uh, you can also pat your mixed fruit dry with paper towels to remove any extra juice but i'm not doing this okay and start by preheating your oven 175 degrees celsius and now grab a 9 inch round cake tin and let's make the base which is the most important part of this upside down cake firstly pour the melted butter into this 9 inch round cake tin swirling it to coat the bottom and the sides Next, sprinkle the brown sugar evenly over the bottom of the grease dish. This caramelizes during baking, creating a gooey and delicious base for the fruit. Now, I'm using dark brown sugar because I was short of the light brown sugar, but I would suggest like this is my personal suggestion to use light brown sugar because it will give much, you know, golden color to our base. Okay, now here comes the fun part. arranging the drained mixed fruit over the sugar okay now arrange this drained mixed fruits over the brown sugar layer making sure they are evenly spread out here you can unleash your creativity you can create a beautiful design like a flower pattern or simply scatter them for a vibrant mix and if you're using uh, cherries add them in between like i have done uh, you can also add them in between the slices the fruits or you can place one in the center of each fruit for a pop of red but that that is going to be a lot of cherries i've just made a pattern with the cherries in the center and i'm spreading the mixed fruit at the sides of those red cherries i'm also putting some on the sides and here are some leftover cherries which i'm going to place again at the sides okay And now in a bowl or a measuring cup, uh, whisk together your yogurt and milk. Okay. And now is the time to whisk together our dry ingredients. So in a separate bowl, whisk together the flour, baking powder. And if you are using unsalted butter add some salt also at this point I'm using a salted butter so I'm not adding any salt into this and mix everything together with a wire whisk okay now set this aside for now and now in a large mixing bowl I'm going to beat the room temperature butter until it is creamy so you can say for a minute or so add the sugar and cream together with the softened butter on medium speed for about 3 minutes or until it is light and fluffy now this step incorporates air into the batter making the cake light and airy upside down cakes date back to the middle ages when people cooked cakes with fruit on the bottom and flipped them to serve this tradition has carried on and evolved into the delicious upside down cakes we enjoy today So while the exact origin remains a bit of mystery, upside down cakes are believed to have emerged sometime in the late 19th or early 20th century in the United States. Pineapple upside down cake, the most popular version, is thought to be resourceful adaptation using those canned pineapple, which was a novel ingredient at that time. 
okay this is done now now add the eggs one at a time beating well after each addition adding a touch of warmth and sweetness to the cake okay so now we'll alternate adding the dry ingredients and a, a mixture of yogurt and milk to the wet ingredients starting and ending with the dry mix and we have to mix it until just combined so be careful not to over mix this so while beating on low speed gradually add a third of the flour mixture to the butter mixture then add half of the yogurt and the milk mixture beating just until combined now repeat with another third of the flour mixture the remaining yogurt mixture Finally, the last third of the flour mixture. Now give a last mix with a rubber spatula to ensure that everything has been mixed properly. So the batter is ready now. Now pour the batter over the mixed fruits in the prepared dish. spreading it evenly with a spatula towards the edges and bake this for 40 45 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean or with a few moist crumbs so into the oven okay now once baked let the cake cool in the dish for about 15 to 20 minutes and after that we'll come back and we'll demold it So it's about 20 minutes. So I'm going to place a serving plate on top of the dish and carefully flip it over in one smooth motion. Give this a few taps and let's pick this up. Tada! Look at this. Have you ever seen a cake that looks like a burst of sunshine trapped in a pan? The most beautiful upside down cake you have ever seen made with that forgotten can of fruit, right? This looks gorgeous. I wish you could smell this. This smells heavenly. So, let's wait for another 15-20 minutes and then we'll come back and we'll cut it. You can enjoy it plain or with a dollop of whipped cream or ice cream. And there you have it. a beautiful and delicious mixed fruit upside down cake this mixed fruit upside down cake is a wonderful moist and flavorful dessert that's sure to impress this cake is a great make ahead dessert and leftovers can be stored in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to 5 days you can also reheat individual slices in the microwave for a warm and gooey treat the beauty of upside down cakes lies in their versatility today we have explored a delightful variation the mixed fruit upside down cake using the canned or the cocktail fruits now this recipe is a celebration of color and flavor instead of the traditional pineapple we have used a vibrant mix of canned fruit giving you the freedom to personalize your creation now think juicy peaches plump berries and tangy cocktail mix anything the possibilities are endless now give it a try and let me know how it turned out in the comments below if you enjoy this recipe do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon for more delicious recipes so until we meet again take good care of yourself and happy baking